Hey friends, Kevin here, and today I'm bringing you one of the videos I've been threatening, I mean promising to bring you for a long time, now that I finally have these two vans in the same place. And if you watch this channel, you've heard me say, and you know I have two different vans that I use to travel at different times. One is a minivan, one is a full-size converted van, what they call a Class B. And I have some people out there, <coughs> audio, and some other subscribers that have been looking forward to this video and me show, being able to show some real differences. And the reason for this tape measure is to show you exactly what the dimensions are and what the difference are going to be in using these to travel. So let's get to it. And at this very moment, the minivan is raw. I have pulled everything out of here because I wanted to slightly redo it after a couple of years, but I'm not going to go very wild with it. I'm going to use the same bed and everything you saw in the main minivan build. And you can see this thing's really, really dirty and dusty. There's stuff in here from California, Arizona, Oklahoma, God knows where that was under all the heavier stuff in here so we're going to get this cleaned up and put this stuff back but with this wide open I can do a good job of showing you exactly how much space you have in the minivan compared to the big van all right thanks to my trusty cameraman Ernie say hi Ernie hey give me just a second I've got this control figured out okay gotcha you are a tad over five foot which gives you 60 inches. The mattresses I use in a full-size mattress, if you go that route, it's going to be about 54 inches wide. So that is perfect for dropping into a minivan if you're doing it for two people. With minivans, you're going to have these wheel wells to contend with, and this is going to take up some of your space. Okay, now the important part is the wheel wheels because you're going to have this in any minivan and this is going to take up some of the space we were dealing with side to side. So you are in all of these four foot, just over four foot. Now if you're using a 54 inch mattress and you're thinking, hey, you've only got 48 inches right here, it will work because these foam mattresses that everyone is using will crush in a little bit. So you can still fit that big mattress into a minivan. Okay, lengthwise, right where my thumb is, is eight foot. So into the bottom of these seats on a minivan, and this is the extended version, you're gonna have the same dimensions roughly with any brand of minivan. You're gonna have right at eight foot to play with. Seven foot 10, seven foot 11, eight foot, if you can get the seats up a little bit, if you're not a tall person that needs these seats back. So if you're thinking about doing this in a minivan and you don't have a minivan yet, and you want to visualize what you're going to have to do, the easiest thing to do is get you a piece of plywood or a piece of paneling somewhere, which is four foot by eight foot. Add another six inches onto the side and sit there and look at it and figure out how you're going to lay things out because that is the amount of space that you're going to have to deal with when you're trying to do a build inside of a minivan. Not much more than a sheet of plywood. The last thing everybody wonders about is height. Average height in this thing, three foot, 10 inches roughly. So 45, 46 inches tall. So again, there's not going to be any standing up in a minivan. The big van, I did not clean this for you all. It has the lived in look. But let's look at the dimensions on here roughly. Side to side in this one, we are, and this has a little bit of a curvature to it, but we are roughly five foot, 10 inches. Now, the bed in this one goes from left to right or right to left. In the other version of this, which I think is the popular model, the beds will come this way. And you can actually fit a queen size or king size bed in one of those. 
but this you're five foot ten roughly so if you're a tall guy you're going to still be sleeping at a little bit of an angle but it does work you know even for two people now also if you haven't seen other, other videos on this road trek this bed is made to fold up it folds into two bench seats and you can have a table in the middle I don't do all that I just leave my bed made up all the time as far as distance to the front and remember we had roughly eight foot in the minivan to play with in this one to the back of these seats you are close to 12 feet and that may not seem like a big difference but four extra feet is a huge difference in what you can do and of course this one is already built out from the factory but if you have just had an empty cargo van this size you'd be putting your own cabinets in and sinks and things wherever you wanted them so this still gives you an idea of what the dimensions would be on a 19 foot van cargo van height on this thing where you can stand up and walk around is roughly 5 foot 11 inches and of course it has a high top one reason it gets that also and you may not be able to see on the camera which is fine but the center part of this floor and what they do in these road tracks, it's actually dropped about four inches. That's how they get the extra height to be able to give you room to stand up in here. What about the, the working area from here to here? This little aisle, just because of the way this is laid out, because you have your bathroom stuff in here, your sink over here. Your walkway here is right at 30 inches, which is about the size of walking through an interior door of a house. So two people can pass each other here. One may have to turn sideways, but it is possible for two people to be able to pass each other and go back and forth here. Now the advantages to these bigger vans is you generally have a captain's chair that will swivel. So being able to sit here and look back through this van it just makes things seem much more open and that's generally an advantage you don't have in a minivan with being able to swivel these front seats around everything's a trade-off the more space is great but remember your gas mileage is going to suffer a lot compared to a minivan you're going to have places you can take the, that minivan that you simply can't take this larger van or fit it into. As we've discussed in other videos, everything is a trade-off. It's the choice that you're happy with and will give you the level of comfort that you can live with while you're on the road.